You know, there's a lot of vision in machine learning, but little machine learning in vision. Could sensors, machine learning, and the cloud give us better eyesight? Da Vinci said, the human being, creature of eyes, needs the image. Yet, uh, and let's look at your eye. It takes in 75% of all you perceive. It sees 7 million shades of color, 10 million shades of light. Yet in today's world, there are 285 million people who are severely visually impaired. 90% of them live in resource-poor countries. Just in India, there are 54 million seriously visually impaired people. And the three largest eye institutes in India, LV Prasad Eye Institute, Shankara Netralaya, and Arvind Eye Care System, they see over 100 million patients a year. And they're using really innovative approaches using data to manage that population and make advances, significant advances. So let me tell you about an example on predictive eye care with LV Prasad Eye Institute and Microsoft. How many of you here have done LASIK? Anybody? Okay. It's a, quite a popular surgery to shape the cornea and improve vision with a laser. It's uh, applied for the four common problems in eyesight, nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism, presbyopia, that's the need for glasses, and LASIK can help. Well, here's how LASIK works. So a thin flap is created on the cornea of the eye with a microkeratome. It creates a thin slice. The flap is then gently folded back on its hinge. And then an excimer laser is applied to the cornea to shape the cornea to hopefully perfect vision. The flap is then gently folded back and allowed to heal. And when the flap uh, heals properly, it takes uh, about a month, hopefully you have perfect vision. But LASIK is not for everyone. It's high cost, potentially no improvement, possible complications. You know, some patients develop dry eye, some patients may lose vision, others may still need eyeglasses after surgery. Can you now learn from the past surgical data of large populations that have undergone LASIK surgery and improve the outcome? So that's the question that LVPI posed to data scientists. You know, based on some ingenious statistical modeling, they came up with actually what's a very practical prediction system. They initially used data on about 404 patients, about 747 instances. They built a machine learning model to predict the new I number. This is the uncorrected visual acuity, the error, after surgery. Input was pre-surgery data really pre-operative examination results and demography and so on. And the goal was to predict the uncorrected visual acuity day one, week one, or a month after surgery. So, so why do that? Well, when you can actually predict the outcome of a LASIK surgery, you can plan for it better and correct for it better ahead of time. You can ask questions like, should this patient undergo LASIK surgery or not? Is it worth it? What's the most promising type of laser to use for this particular surgery? What are the optimal surgery parameters, such as the suction time, the flap size, the hinge details, and so on? And now you can make the best use of available data to personalize the surgery and maximize the probability of success. So here's the LASIK pipeline. From historical data, you extract a collection of features. It can be age, gender, uncorrected visual acuity before surgery, the visual acuity with glasses, and so on. And then you build a machine learning model. Machine learning model predicts the uncorrected visual acuity in patients who have undergone the surgery, and uh, it fits that uh, function. And then once the models are trained, you put that in a web service that's hosted in a cloud, 
and then clinics from all over the world, all over India, then can call into that web service for each patient with the patient's own data and get personalized estimates. And that can then be used to optimize the surgery. And it turns out the prediction accuracy of this model is actually quite good. L1 error of 0.07 on uncorrected visual acuity for day one, 0.06 for week one after surgery, and it turns out to be very useful. It's actually very interesting to look at what drives the prediction. Now, these are some of the features that drive that prediction model in a day one, week one, month one. In fact, and I look at the most prominent feature in month one. It is age. Age is uh, correlated, and if you're older, the chances of you having an imperfect laser surgery is higher. Well, so that's, that's machine learning in one application in vision. There are many more. You know, when you change someone's eyes, you change someone's life. Machine learning in healthcare can now be used for predicting treatment outcomes, surgical outcomes, to identify trends in patient care, long-term trends, to predict outbreaks and epidemics. And I want to show you a few more examples. That's a corneal transplant. See those black stitches? That's a transplanted cornea. Now, the donor cornea can be rejected by the recipient. And the medical uh, prediction problem here is to see if the patient will reject that cornea and estimate the survival probability of that transplanted cornea. A very powerful application. A second one forecasting astigmatism in kids. Remember, a child's eyesight affects everything from school performance to sports and even injuries, accidents. So the question is, can you forecast a child's eyesight and how it will evolve? So LVPI, the same institute, has analyzed data for 114,000 inst instance visits by 51,000 patients and have models now to forecast astigmatism up to two years in the future. So you know how your child's vision is likely to evolve. This is uh, with another eye institute called Shankara Netralia, and we collaborate them on cataract surgery outcome. See, the lens of the eye is opacified. It's white in color, often due to old age and other complications. And the cataract surgery replaces that lens. And the goal here is to predict vision after cataract surgery in terms of sphere, cylinder, uncorrected visual acuity, et cetera. And we can get good accuracy here as well. Diabetic retinopathy is one of the most common causes of blindness, especially in the poor worldwide, because of undiagnosed, untreated diabetics. And these are images of the retina. And using deep convolutional neural networks, you can now predict potential diabetic retinopathy. And when you can predict early, you can treat the symptom and prevent serious loss of eyesight. And this, this is the new machine learning. Machine learning for humanity to see better, to make our lives better. But you know, there is another blindness that we are all affected by. We are blind to the critical need for data in this endeavor. The opportunities to improve healthcare with data and medicine, in, data and medicine, uh, in medicine with data and machine learning, is absolutely stunning. It will improve the lives of entire populations in ways never before. So, here's an eye-opening idea. Many of us proudly carry that red heart that we are organ donors on our licenses. Will you consider being a data donor? This is the donor car card you carry today, the organ donor card. I would like to help someone to live after my death. Consider this. the data donor card. I would like to help someone to live 
before my death. Let your doctors and relatives know your wishes and keep this card with you all times. Thank you.